Hello, New School Beyblade here, and today I'll be talking about the original line of Beyblade. So, Beyblade, um, or, yeah, Pocket 10 Shoot Beyblade, um, so this is from the G uh, Game Boy Color game to the manga, so yeah. So yeah, this is what the original line is. I know I don't have the other recolors. That's kind of why. But yeah, the first three releases for the layers. But yeah. I've been talking about some of the stuff I have. My experience with it. So this is the original Takara Tomi line. But I grew up with the uh, Hasbro line of it. But yeah. I even show you some uh, uh, random booster one in the alternate version that yeah, nope, I'll show you it in a bit, but yeah, there is it's definitely interesting going back to childhood and seeing what they had back then. But yeah, first things first is okay, so yeah. So, here's the, um, I don't have the GBA, I mean, not GBA, um, Game Boy Color game yet. I plan on getting it, but I do have the manga, all 14 volumes, but I'm missing the, um, um, the female version, the two-volume female version that, um, Nizblit and Nizblitter, uh, found. But yeah, link in the description below for that. But yeah. From, this came out in 2005 for the U.S. This is the only full English edition of Beyblade. A middle fight. And I never got, I only got two volumes in English. And then dropped after that burst. Never got it with the 20 volumes of that. Never got English release. Only on the internet. And then Beyblade X. Um, only has two volumes right now. I'll be getting volume three soon, but yeah. And hopefully that gets it, because how big it is, and it's going worldwide now. We'll be getting a, hopefully getting a, um, uh, English release for it, but yeah. Uh, it says Ultimate Dragon, Sizer, Frosted Dronzer. I'm not gonna say the name for that because it's a fucking bitch to say. <laughs> Bump King, Grip Attacker, uh, Bearing, uh, Bearing something, uh, Bound Attacker, Bound Defense. Sorry, I need to get a new one because this one is brittle. Rolling Attacker, Rolling Defense, one of my favorite layers. Competitive layers from back then. Even now, because I use this one as um, my main combo for Plastic Gen with this layer because how fucking good it is. And then um, auto, auto Grip Changer, the brittle one. And also I do have the Hasbro version that actually fixes some of the mistakes on here. This is a uh, version one of um, model uh, mold one of yeah I think mold one I think they actually know those three molds I think if I remember correctly so yeah there is a uh, two mold molds I do have both this is why and uh, the mold one breaks easily I broke this I snapped this in half <laughs> but yeah. So yeah, this is mold two. This is a pistol, Hasbro pistol. But yeah, mold two it ha actually fixes what the mistake is. They have an extra piece right there. But yeah. Uh, another really good layer is a uh, um. Wing Attacker is really good, Compe pretty competitive nowadays. I I've seen on combos on online, but yeah, and I, 
This one is pretty good. I know this is pretty good for defense. I know in the last tournament I did, I just got done recording that one from the Bucking, uh, Buckington shoot, Bayloid stuff. Definitely got this, and um, they actually went pretty far in the tournament, and yeah, and I, uh, uh, yeah, Sparking is the last release for the four, four piece set. And I've seen this part used pretty good for a, a good smash attack, but also, so yeah, I've seen this combo. It's actually really good, really light, but really round. Pretty good. If I had to say it, it's pr pretty fun. Then there's actually uh, two different versions of that. Hold on. Okay, so this is the manga color version. It's in the actual manga. I don't have volume. I think I do have volume two, but I'm not sure. No, it doesn't say. That's just Grip Attacker on the cover. But it's on the cover. I really, I actually prefer this one and these colors over the red version, the anime version that came out with um a one. But yeah, then next is, um, we are already in four, four layer, uh, we get Drigger. For, we actually get the layer for Drigger, but we get the official full Drigger S and going into the, uh, spin, the five piece or spin gear section of Baywood. And this, um, I've seen this one. A star attacker, I think it was called. In the anime, this one was used by Billy, but in the other one, it isn't used by Billy. Not yet, at least. And in Knight and uh, Trigger, um, Tyson's friend, that gets uh, his blade uh, taken. And this is this is a part it's pretty brutal but really good I, I I've seen combos with this guy life after death death and metal trigger and metal Drasil came out definitely another good life life after death then um zero, zero the three that has and those three different layers but different color layers i do have all three this one just got fixed because how brittle this can be because a heavy attack uh kid dragoon good uh, lower attack uh, really overpowered bay. These two are very overpowered. And another one I really like to use. Kid, Kid your seal. Definitely really fun to use. Let's go on to the. Um, the disc. That was it. Introduced from back then. Heavy. Okay. Not the best. One of the lightest. One of the lightest ones early, then um, eight wide is a lot heavier, really good. Compared to wide, um, wide definitely interesting, good balance. Then, wide uh, eight wide, no, um, eight balance. And balance, really good. Two, then wide. The first wide um this that came on Spin Dragoon or Ultimate Dragoon. And then um eight wide came out after with um Master, you know, like Kid your Seal. Yeah, another good wide disc. Um, uh, Star, I think. 
we got a rug heavy layer, I mean, disc. Then, surprisingly, um, with that sparking release, it comes with, um, Wide Survive was the first release of this, and then Random Booster 1 comes out with, um, Wide Defense. And you let me show you that it's an alternate packaging for it. Okay, I couldn't find it, but I w would have uh, shown you. I'll probably post a picture of it on um, my uh, feed to let you guys know what it looks like when this video goes up. So yeah, this was actually, was in two sets, I think I remember. But yeah, it was um, Random Booster 1 and 2. Actually, I can actually show you volume, uh, and the next one is Star Attacker. The first appearance is in volume 2, or Random Booster volume 2. As a special part, I think it was. Okay, so yeah. There's a uh, Random Booster 2 with the special part right there. Right, st uh, Star Attacker. And then, you see right here. Right there, that's um, this guy right there. So, yeah, it is um, in there too. But yeah, definitely interesting to see that. Then, I don't have every launcher, I do have a few of the launchers. And so, here's the standard launcher for left spin, I mean, for everything else. And then, the left spin uh, release that came out for Dragoon. Definitely interesting to get that, and then the standard to um, the Tyson launcher and uh, grip cord and a standard grip cord. Then the normal one of the other grips, easy grips, basically, an easy bay laid grip, and then the more uh, the easy grip, um, the better version, I think, it has that um, actual. And the grip pads and everything like that. Really, I like this one a lot more. But yeah. And then it comes with the spin gears, left and right spin. Let's check out blade base. This one and this one. And also, this one's really good for. Uh, we're really competitive. Competitive. Same with grip and bearing. It's really good. And this one, defense, is a really good one. But this one, you can actually flip it for the grip base. You can flip it from that. You can actually flip it over, and it's actually really good for smash tech. Then, trigger, uh, uh, yeah, trigger S blade base. I th yeah, I think it was good for um, uh, turn uh, tornado stalling. I think it was and the standard uh, sharp. Basically, I've seen a lot. Is okay if you put a. Uh, this can be actually considered competitive. Definitely interesting to see this then. As a much smaller one, I forgot the name of. <laughs> definitely cool to see this. The sh first uh, sharp um, from uh, metal trigger, uh, metal drill meant to say. The first uh, sharp and uh, tip. And this and uh, this came on um, the zeros or whatever. You can put the bottom piece on. I've seen a competitive uh, use for it too. In the normal flat, but uh, disc. I mean, yeah. And then the standard um, stadium from back then was uh, this is a um, would be, would be this, but different colors for it. But yeah, definitely really fun to use for all of these. But yeah. Let me get all this situated and be right back with you guys.
Okay, so here's all the releases in order from the beginning to uh, end. But yeah, there will be a part two to this for all the battles that will be going on. So from the first releases onward to the end of this, I will be putting this one on. Um, you'll be seeing these guys on. Um, some of these um, releases, so this will go on um, uh, Stinger. This one will, will go on um, Bound Defensor, uh, actually, Bound Defensor, and yeah. So definitely stay tuned. Like, comment, and subscribe for more videos like this, and goodbye.